Every time you want to do something online, like watch a video or send an email, you need to talk to all the computers out there on the internet. In this scenario, ENI is like your translator or messenger that helps your computer to talk to those other computers and understand what they are saying. For example, let's say you want to watch a cute cat video on a website. When you click on the video, your computer asks the ENI for help. The ENI then talks to the website's computer saying, Hey, my friend here wants to see the cat video. Can you please send it over? The website's computer sends the video back to your ENI and your ENI translate it into a language your computer can understand. Voila, you can now enjoy the adorable cat video on your screen. Not only does the ENI help you communicate with websites, but it also allows you to talk to other computers within the AWS cloud. It's like having a secret passcode to enter a special club of computers where you can share data and work together on projects. Well, that being said, hello everyone. Welcome to this video on introduction to AWS ENI. Today, with this video, we are going to understand what AWS ENI really is and how it works with the help of hands-on demonstration. But before we begin with that, I'd like to request you guys to enable both the subscribe button and bell icon for IntelliPath YouTube channel so that you won't miss out on multiple tech updates coming from our end. So going with Elastic Network Interface is what basically a Elastic Network Interface is. It is used to attach to an interface and we can write security rules for it. And once we attach it from one interface, one in, detach it from one inter instance and attach it to another in instance, the security group rules which were associated with this network interface will now shift to the other instance, which means that the same security group rule which was previously followed by instance one will now be followed by my instance two. So let's hop on to its lemon storm example. So an elastic network interface is a logical networking component in a VPC that represents virtual network card. When we move a network interface from one instance to another, network traffic is redirected to the new instance. Now, this means that a elastic network interface is a component in our VPC which we can use to modify the traffic from one instance to another without like changing the security group's rules. We can just detach and attach to another instance and the traffic will be shifted. Now, what is the IP addresses available per instance type for these network interfaces? So for a1.xlarge, the number of network interfaces allowed is four and private IP address per interface is 15. Now, which means that four into 15 is the number of IP addresses I can allow. And IPv6 addresses are also 15. Now, if I go with c1.medium, we have only two network interfaces allowed and six IPv4 addresses and IPv6 is not supported. In the same manner for t2.micro, only two network interfaces are allowed again, but the private IP addresses allowed per interface is two. And even IPv6 is allowed in this case, but they are also only two allowed. Going with maximum network interfaces in t2.small, three are allowed. And then private IPv4 addresses, four are allowed. And IPv6 addresses per interface is four again. Now, if I have an instance type of t2.medium, I can attach maximum number of three network interfaces and six I private IPv4 addresses will be there per interface. Now, going with IPv6, again, it's six per interface. Now, going with z1d.metal type of instance, I can attach 15 network interfaces simultaneously to it. And private IPv4 addresses per instance will be 50 and IPv6 also per interface will be 60, which means that for Z1D.metal, I can have 15 network interfaces and each will contain 50 IPv4 address, which will be private. So 15 into 50 IPv4 addresses will be available for me. Now let's hop on to why do we need a network interface? Let's say we will have to attach multiple network interfaces in what scenarios? So the scenarios are, let's say you want to create a management network. Then in that case, you will be using, then the next thing is using network and security appliances in our VPC. In that case also, if we have to create network and security appliances and we don't want to create differently for each, in that case, we can go. The next thing is creating dual homed instance with workload roles on distinct subnets. Let's say if there are two subnets and I want to create 
dual homed instance says with distinctive workloads let's say it, i want to apply different workload to my instance when it is public and i want to apply different workload when it is private in that case i can do that the next thing is creating a low budget high availability solution which means that network interfaces are very low budget like budget friend friendly and they are highly available so in that case also we do use network interfaces now the next thing is a uh, example let's take it and understand so in this example you can see that there is a network interface eth0 and a network interface eth1 now eth0 handles all the public traffic which is coming from the internet and tells it what to do and then redirects it to eth1 now eth1 handles all the traffic coming from the back end and it redirects it to eth0 and both of them combinedly makes our vpc very strong and very budget friendly in order to handle the traffic from back end as well as the internet so this has more restrictive access control that the traffic from back end will go from one network interface to another and then internet so that the secu security of this vpc will be very strict and it will not allow any unfriendly traffic to go to my back end from internet or from back end to internet so that's all for this video guys see you in the next in this hands on we will be learning how to create a network interface and attach it to a ec2 instance and detach it from there and attach it to another ec2 instance so let's go to instances and you can see there are no instances so let's launch a instance so name let's say my ec2 the next thing is key pair let's say our key pair and then security group let's say default and let's select a subnet which is let's say two way now let's launch two instances together so two instances are launched so now let's go towards the creation of a network interface and let's understand how it can be attached or detached so go to network interfaces then the next thing you can see there are already two network interfaces which are attached at index 0 of our machine which means they can't be detached we will be seeing that thing in the hands on further so we don't need to give any description subnet i will be selecting this subnet and private ipv4 will be also auto assigned and elastic fiber adapter i don't want it and i do not want any ipv4 prefix delegation now what is this prefix delegation it will assign a prefix like we have in our vpc or subnet in that way but we don't want that so we won't be going with that now the next thing is let's go with default security group and tag yeah we want to add a tag which will be name and the value will be my eni and create network interface so now the interface has been created so let's jump back to our instances and let's give them a name in order to recognize them so let's give it 01 and let's give it as 02 now the names have been changed now we have to attach this network interface so let's select this network interface actions and attach so i can attach it to any one of these instances so let's say i want to attach it to 01 and attach so one method is this i can attach it using this method the other method is i can go to my instances let's say refresh yeah so i attached it to 01 i can go here actions networking and attach network interface so currently you can see that there are no network interfaces found because we have already attached the existing one which means that at one time i can only attach my network interface to one of the instances now the next thing is detaching it so go to detach and let's say if i want to detach the one which is connected at my 
index 0 let's see which one is connected at our index 0 so for that let's see the ID of that interface because here only the IDs are available so if I go to my network interfaces so the ID of this is BC37 which means that this is not attached at index 0 but this is attached at index 0 if I try to detach it it will throw me an error saying that index 0 at network card index 0 can't not be detached which means that it is attached to the root and can't be detached now which means that I can detach the other one so let's detach so now this time I won't be getting any error but if I want to attach it to other one I can definitely go to actions network settings attach network interface and attach so it is showing no network interfaces found basically due to network issue so let's refresh and do the same process again an error was encountered no worries due to some console issue the error is so networking attach network interfaces and here it is available now so let's select it and attach so now it has been attached to our this one ec202 so how we can see that we can go to networking and you will find that both are available over here you can see network interfaces interface id and both have their addresses and their states so attachment status is attaching for the one which we attached right now so let's refresh and let's get back to our networking and let's check if it is attached now or not so it is now attached so since it is attached let's go to ec201 actions networking and attach network interfaces so now here it will not be available which means that we can only attach our network interface to one instance at a time now if i go back to my network interface this my eni refresh it and let's see what is its status it is in use now if i want to delete it will i be able to delete it let's check that so select action delete so we won't be able to delete until and unless it is detached so let's go to actions and detach so detach now what does this mean that i can even detach it from here now if i click on this actions and delete so it is currently detaching that's the reason it is showing this error let's refresh and its status is still in use refresh again and now it's available so let's select it actions delete and delete now it is deleted so this is how our network interface can be created and attached to different instances that's all for this session see you in the next one thank you just a quick info guys IntelliPart offers advanced certification in DevOps and cloud computing in collaboration with IIT M. Pravartha, a technology innovation hub of IIT Madras. This online advanced certification in DevOps and cloud computing by IIT M. Pravartha will help you gain expertise in DevOps, access management, DevSecOps, Terraform, and more. With this course, we have already helped thousands of professionals in successful career transition. You can check out their testimonials on our Achievers channel. The link is given in the description below. Without a doubt, this course can set your career to new heights. So visit the course page link given in the description below and take your first step towards career growth in the field of cloud and DevOps.